A UK ethics council has given its blessing to basically allow for genetic, genetically modified babies. So the Newfield Council on Bioethics just said that it is morally okay to engineer human embryos as long as the interventions are not harmful to the future child or really society as a whole. But critics say that opens the door for what we call designer babies. So the question is, is this a good idea? It Ooh. could, you know, if it could stop certain diseases, is it good? Or does this open the door for wanting, you know, super children? Oh, man, that's tough. Even that though is a tough it, one. It is, but even if, I, I would like to think most parents want to leave it up to, and obviously leaving disease out of it, because I'm sure every, you know, everyone mm -hmm. wants a healthy baby, but I would think in general, most people might just want to have, you know, in terms of traits like eyes and mm -hmm. hair, I'd imagine I would just leave it up to whatever you believe in, God, right. fate, right. whatever Greater it is. Power. I don't know. I would, but if I had the choice, that's the thing, is giving people the option. Like right now, we don't have the option, but mm -hmm. if you had the option, would you make a different decision? Right. Mm. And some people are saying, you know, what we have is not a mistake. So whether it's True. cystic fibrosis right. or another, right. you know, or a disease or a, mm -hmm. or a challenge, are those mistakes? Right. Mm. You well, know? You're the one who's got a baby coming up. I know you had said, I really hope that my baby has my husband's nose <laughs> or eyes. Mm. Or but we didn't pay for it. <laughs> well, right. But what if right. you could guarantee that? Would you? No, I don't think do I would. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. But there is a level of extent to where we did sort of pick what we wanted, right? There's a level of this GMO baby anyway, because we look at the embryos. We mm. look at the ones that are the best quality embryos. Mm -hmm. Some people look at it like, okay, I've got three boys. I really want a girl. Now we have a female embryo. I'm going to use that. Ah, so there see, are that stuff I didn't know. I mean, there. So we kind of already do it in small ways mm -hmm. already, right? right? And actually, in Portland, they did this. They experimented with an embryo. It was just like one little needle prick, you know, and they take out a disease, mm. but they only let those embryos, I guess, kind of grow for a few days before right. they. Um, and then obviously you're probably going to get some kind of butterfly effect, right? You take one thing out. What is that? Is, is there a hole there? Does that mean something else can go in later in life? I don't mm -hmm. know. There, you know, and they're also, we've seen people uh, have, what are they called, survivor siblings? Have you heard of that? No, what is that? I haven't heard of that. Is I, that the, the case where one, a, a baby is born so that, to help another child? Right. Oh. That, and that happened here in the United States in the year 2000. There was okay. a, a boy who was born in the year 2000. His name's Adam Nash. Google him. And the family already had this daughter, but she had this disease that was a fatal disease. They knew they wanted more kids, so they did IVF. They uh, picked Adam, because he had he did not have this genetic mm -hmm. issue, mm -hmm. and they used uh, scientists or doctors used his umbilical cord to tr uh, transfer to the, his older sister, mm -hmm. and her survival rate went up 85 percent. Wow! And you said she's still alive. She's still alive. That's wow! So is that okay? Oh. I mean, are you asking me or them? <laughs> yeah. I know. It goes back to the moral lot. issue. I think, it goes, I think it was a personal issue on their part, and as long as they love that new baby, which I'm sure they did, then, mm -hmm. you know, I don't see any harm in that. If you can save a life through science and yeah. technology, right. right? I think people but. can agree to that. But That's it, amazing. It's, other it's than really that, hard, it's though. pretty tricky. I know yeah. we have, Boundaries, I, think, yeah. I think Megan said we had some text on this matter, potentially. If we could bring those up from what we were talking about. Okay, there they are. Oh. Okay, so boom, right there. The answer is no, not okay. Not in the least little bit. No way. My son is perfect because of my wife, but still and natural. But still and natural. <laughs> so basically, the rich have the super children that should work out. Mm. So it seems like a lot of people mm -hmm. are on the no bandwagon there. Yeah. Because no it could become cosmetic, right? right? Sure. We start to make cosmetic right. decisions, and then it becomes who has access to make these sorts right. of decisions. I know. Right. Okay, well, less controversy.